Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so I love that we have this whole schedule where there's like a week be between recording sessions for these uh, Pokemon series. Because on the last episode, I asked for fan art of the whole Diglett family thing. I guess I don't need to explain it. If you've watched to this point, you already know what I said. <laughs> um... <laughs> But I didn't think that I was gonna wake up the next day to this much fan art of the Diglett. I'll just be putting it by in post on the screen now. Uh, what a geek and Brandon have already se seen it. But if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, first of all, how many times do I need to say follow me on Twitter before you do it? But second of all, this is what you're missing, is all this sweet fan art you guys make for me. Thank you, everybody. That was really cool. Um, also... Also, I don't know if you guys saw this one yet. I don't think I've shown anyone this yet, but I'll put it on screen now. Check this out. Yeah, I saw oh, that. I, I saw it on Twitter. Ah, oh, how awesome is it? Right, I think I retweeted it. Uh, Kestrel made this. Mm -hmm. I commissioned her to do uh, avatars for, or a new avatar for me because I've been commissioning a bunch of fans to make new avatars for the channel just to do something with it. I, I have no idea. Maybe I'll put one of my new avatars in the thumbnail of this. I don't know. Uh, maybe but put the Meowth one. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I would worry it would look too much not like my channel. However, she threw in as a bonus this awesome Meowth one with me as our Meowth, and I just thought that was awesome. At first I was considering uh, editing it in to be over the little face when we talk to people, but then I realized, one, it would take out the personality of the facial expressions, and two, it would be an enormous pain in the ass, so I'm not doing yeah. that. Yeah, that'd be horrible. Strange dreams. Have you been having strange dreams where you're not actually a Pokemon? You know, I get asked on a weekly basis if I have dreams. This is something that's been happening for a few months now. I commented on a video about Aphantasia. And I just mentioned a little bit about my experience with it. And every time ever I bring up what Aphantasia is, everyone asks me, wait, can you dream? And the answer is yes, I can. It's just like how you can think without pictures, too. So just completely random thing someone might have found interesting. Yeah. Do you want to turn back into human? So I guess he just accepts that we were, in fact, a human. <laughs> Do you want to not be a Pokemon? I'm not sure, or I want to be human again. You know what? The game... Hmm. Wait, I was going to say the game would be a lot less interesting if I was a human, but if I was a human in a Pokemon world in which Pokemon are talking and rescuing each other, it probably would be more interesting to be a human. Well, I think I think you can only understand the other Pokemon because you, like, speak like you a Pokemon. Are a Pokemon yourself. You think that's how it is? Yeah, okay, so you go I'm back to say... being a human... And they would all start saying their names again, and then you'd have to run around with your Pokemon and then punch other Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> MB and B use Mega Punch. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the idea now of the, the Pokemon rescue team is being led by just a regular real human <laughs> that's, that's like green screened in. Just like kicking Pokemon, looking <laughs> way too real. <laughs> See, okay, no, I'll, I'm cool with staying a Pokemon now that I think about it. That idea is stupid. <laughs> 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 oh, another thing I've heard to mention. Sorry, this episode is so front loaded with weird things. I'm on a new microphone. It's my first time using a front address microphone in like seven years. I guess the first time was like the last thing I recorded with it, which was with What a Geek, Deadly Premonition. But I don't believe those videos would be up by the time this yeah. video goes up. This is, this is the first one that's going to go up with the new microphone. So let me know what you think. How does it sound? I haven't changed all my settings and audio stuff from the old one. And if I pop the mic at all, uh, call me an idiot. So an idiot. I can fix. Yes, say an idiot. Don't even say you are an idiot. Just an idiot. There you go. And that just means you're popping the mic. <laughs> All right. Um, hi, Kecleon. So they want you to go to Wigglytuff Club, which is just to the right of Perge uh, yeah, Felicity Bank. Okay. You're so fast. I know, right? I can't stop with the race car noises. <laughs> I just wanted to see if there was anything I wanted to deposit, but I guess I'm fine with uh, this. You got a couple of berries that you're not really going to be using. Yeah. Hold on. There is a organize button for this, right? Yeah, I... if you go to your item menu and tap Y. 
my god. I have Y. Oop. It's. I guess it already is organized then. Okay. No, it, it shouldn't be organized at this point because right. uh, the Peach Scarf should be up at the top here. There oh, it is. It's select. Uh, okay, then there you go. So what is this? I do not like that trash is the first button. Prevents yeah, you can't from equip equipping. items in the overworld, unfortunately. Oh. But it is an equipable item. That's weird. Okay. Uh, sorry, you said Wigglytuff? That's where? Uh, up and to the right. There we go. Oh my god, that's freaky looking on the overworld. Right. <laughs> Friends are my treasures, said the kidnapper. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, I attribute the words, friends are my treasures, to that face staring at us in the dead center of the screen. Good friends God. Are my treasures. Welcome to Wigglytuff Club, a circle of friends. I feel like Joe needs to be doing his creepy voice for that one. He's two boys in one. I, is, I was literally about to say <laughs> that exact line. That one stuck with me so well, it's just being hilarious. Dragon Ball Z Team Training, let's play on this channel. It's a Pokemon ROM hack with Dragon Ball Z. Go look it up. Uh, I sell friend. <laughs> Can that be the title of the episode? I sell which, friend. Which Wigglytuff looks more awkward to you? The one actually standing there with the eyes that are way too big, mm -hmm. or the one that's like cheated out, casually like smirking at you? Okay, so the one on the left is a Digimon. And that's yep. fine because yep. it lo at least it looks like they tried. The, the one in the dead center <laughs> is just psychotic. It's on something. <laughs> Let's be friends. Oh no, I think I'm being hypnotized. He flashed you. You can go to the wild plains now. Thank you for permission. Okay, so I can recruit ones that live there. I can get new Pokemon. Mm hmm. If you're fighting a Pokemon that live in the friend area, sometimes they will come to admire you as a friend after you beat them up. Hmm. So instead of beating them to death, they'll be your friends. Ooh. Do the Magnemites scream? <laughs> like, That's one way like, of interpreting their all caps, yeah. Like, like a screaming goat? I choose to believe they scream like a screaming goat, yes. Give them the power plant! Just... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Screaming goats are the best. They sound like humans. It's the funniest thing. Everyone go look up Screaming Goats. Uh, it was a weird first five minutes. <laughs> Has it really okay. only been five minutes? I'm sorry, it's been eight minutes. All right. I mean, I don't know how much I'm cutting at the beginning. Friends turned down All your offer to right join now. your team yesterday. Yeah. I would love it if I could just say no. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I think. but can you allow me to be your friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> you aren't allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I have... It's... it's... <laughs> it's like when you get a really, really, really uncomfortable message. <laughs> like from a complete stranger on Discord. I've had some weird ones before. Well, you're talking to two of the mods who get really weird, really, really weird messages. Usually when a fan messages me, it's like pretty nice. But every once in a while, you get one of those weird ones where you just... You know there's some kind of creepy parasocial relationship thing going on and you just don't want to get involved in any way. You mm. don't even know what to say back. It's like those. May I have permission to be your friend? In caps lock, he says. Uh, give a nickname to Magnemite. I can't... If I start doing this, I'm going to open the floodgates for naming everything and there's no way I can come up with something good for everything. Do I get to rename them later? I don't remember. I know um, in the remake you can. Mm. Just start nicknaming like, just start nicknaming them, naming them like based on just like what they are. So instead of Magnemite, this is just Magnet Ball. <laughs> 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 Do 
two Nail magnets, screw. a ball, and a few screws. I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> Nail screw, because we think that his screw looks like a nail. Mm, that is true. And both of them are pseudonyms for having sex with somebody. And it's gotta be in caps lock. Yeah. It does, yeah. Perfect. Oh, you gotta put the other gender symbol at the bottom. <laughs> no, I want an exclamation point because oh. it's loud. But yeah, I also gotta close out the quote. Actually, no, they, they always put a period at the end, don't they? Oh, wait, Doesn't can I? the end quotation mark there. Hold on, I need to go back to the beginning to... Oh, that, like, overwrites? Balls. Okay, give me a second. I know this is the longest episode ever for stupid shit, but... Actually, that little OVR at the left side, the green one, I think that's, uh, like, telling you you are currently in overwrite mode. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I gotta close it. Oh, and sorry. Yeah, perfect. There we go, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Nail screw. Uh, they instant screw. regret. Instant regret joining my team. <laughs> how, how how do I say my name, boss? Uh, <laughs> and for the record, in case it wasn't clear, I was saying nail with an N, not mail. Like the male symbol. Nail. Like you the, know, because like the, the top of his head looks like a nail, you know the thing yes, that you like hammer in. Oh I heard male. Okay, so there's one miscommunication of the playthrough so far. There you go. Well, between just us. <laughs> okay, I'm scared, I'm scared, I can't get home. How can you send mail? One orange berry wanted! I really need one berry, and I just happened to be on the fourth basement of a cave. Hmm. Remember, you can always check to see which ones you want based on the rewards. I could. Where am I? Roared. A piddly amount of money. Money. Oh. No, 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 that was 100, 100 money plus. Mm. Plus mystery. <laughs> Plus eh. Okay, well this one's garbage, but I'll take it just because I'm going to mount steel for the others anyway. And then I have to job list. And I need to take the jobs. <laughs> I'm for sad and lonely. <laughs> that one can stay there for a little while. <laughs> like, that sounds low priority. Oh. Oh. This seems to be a commotion. Oh no. Is the mob shaking down jump luff? Jump Luff looks like a child. <laughs> like <laughs> My friend needs a gust of wind. Are they Naruto running, but like while standing still? They yep. really, really look like they did they are. <laughs> Begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. Help Jump Luff, Caterp Caterpie. <laughs> Don't just stand there. He's a Pokemon named Shift Tree. That's such a weird way to describe someone. <laughs> That's a human named Bill. There's just... I feel sorry for him, rather than Whoa! I feel sorry for that Pokemon. Whoa! <laughs> Chiftree's like, I'm gonna shake this kid down. <laughs> Alakazam Charizard. <laughs> yeah, Should he's they just dead. <laughs> <laughs> is he just gonna kill them in the streets? Like, how is this gonna go down? Well, Alakazam can't do shit to Shiftry because Shiftry's dark type. Good point. Yeah, but he really shouldn't be the one. In yeah, Charizard should really be doing the shakedown here. Your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. Stop getting philosophical on me. It's Alakazam. That's like his job. Help leafy fans. Is, is leafy fans a comment on? like fans of people on the internet and they don't really have much going for their arguments or fans of the youtuber leafy i guess mm. i know that that's a youtuber i know almost nothing about him <laughs> so no opinion that's alakazam's team that's a shitty team name they're named Team ACT because it's Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar. 
his flamethrower can melt mountains. Mountains are oh. rock! That's incredible! <laughs> <laughs> and the leader, Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. <laughs> the first thing he does is compliment the other two on their strong points. The first thing they do with Alakazam, he's kind of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that's really good. He really needs to hit the gym. I wish our rescue missions were this easy. Walk into the town square, talk to some guy, mission over. <laughs> Gold rank rescue team. Were you talking about us? Burns you alive. <laughs> Is he using his psychic powers to read my mind and know that I'm a human? You're not a Pokemon. <laughs> I love that other Pokemon will refer to other Pokemon as Pokemon. I mean, in casual, like in casual conversation, in the same way that if I were talking to you about like some misfortunate thing that happened to someone, and I was like, I really feel bad for that human. <laughs> Wh what? Like, you would look at me like I'm joking in some weird way. Like, there's a joke in coming about this. <laughs> we need to become like them. We need to become them. We need to become. Oh. Gengar. I, I bet you, yeah. Wiggly, judging by Wiggly Tuft's face, I bet you she'd be willing to skin them for us and we can wear them as suits to become them. <laughs> I love Gengar. Can Gengar join me, please? I like Gengar. He just shakes little sticks his tongue and walks away. Wait, that was the whole day? I didn't even do a mission. Maybe I'm just napping because I'm a cat. We picked up missions. Well, there's for that nothing day. else going on today, so you can accept your mail. You can go to the Pelipper Post Office again for different quests. But what about Sad and Lonely? He's been up there for days. <laughs> eh, he'll be fine. All right. Well, did anyone actually know this is just more tutorial? This is teaching us about how to take jobs? Mm -hmm. Cool. Look, one of these days, someone's actually going to hire us. Oh, I was going to say, there might be more missions at the Pelipper place for Mount Steel. Mm, we already got here, though. So I think it starts on... I think we're starting on floor five, right? That's the first floor oh, yeah. where we have some... Okay, uh, expect for me to play like an idiot this round. I got to remember the controls. It's only my second time ever playing. It's been a couple weeks, you know. I want to acknowledge that the YouTube comments have been very adamant about pointing out that you can change your movement speed in the dungeons. I've noticed because you left a comment in a reply to one of them saying you hinted at it to me, but I didn't catch on, and you're just going to kind of leave it. So I hearted that comment, and everyone thought it was hilarious that I stumbled across it. Yeah, people, are, I guess, are used to the uh, dungeon speed moving faster than what you currently have it set to, but you're free to just leave yeah. it as is if you want I to. Think I'm cool with speeding up. Right, we learned bike. Uh, I'm cool speeding it up. We just gotta... I gotta figure it out again. So, it causes the target to cringe. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's because you bit them. Do they mean flinch? Yep. Is cringe just flinch? It is, yeah. Man, that's so flinch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I you hate You want to go to others uh, to get the options menu. You know what's a significantly better term than cringe? Embarrass. I like Ooh. that one. That's one that I've always used. I think that's a much stronger, bite. better Spiro term. Spiro gets embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Game option, dungeon, speed, fast. Is that it? Yep. Yep, okay. that's the one. Far off pals, look or self. Okay, this is some interpretive shit right there. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Whenever you are separated from your teammates, if the teammates attack something far off in the dungeon, then the camera will go over to them to show you their attack. If it's okay. on self, then it will not pan. Damage turn, no or yes. <laughs> Whenever you get hit, you will turn in the direction of wherever you were hit, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's fine. Grids, sure. Display mode. Why are we on B by default? Okay, clear map, no map, shaded map. Oh, this is like different configurations of top screen and bottom mm -hmm. screen. I'm gonna stick with this for now. I'm, I'm pretty used to it, feels good. Okay. Oh, wow, that already feels way faster. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's way better. Okay. Yeah, so now you can see why people wanted you to yeah. switch over to this. Eh, sorry. Remember, you don't you don't have any moves that can cut corners right. on Right. I keep forgetting. It feels like I should be able to hit from there, but I can't. You can throw gravel or rocks if you want to. Yes, I can, and I do have a lot of them. There we go. Sweet. Oh, that's way better. Also, I'm going to remind you whenever we're back in town to grab Magnemite from the friend area. Oh, can I have, like, more Pokemon on my party right yeah, now? Yeah, you can have four, yep. I think, right? Oh, You can have up okay. to four. I didn't know I could do that yet. I figured you could get more because there's, like, the other screen where there's clearly space. I didn't know I could do it yet. Yeah, Magnemite was just recruited, so you can go visit him whenever, and you can bring him onto your team. Yeah, we got yeah. Screw. Oh, you picked up a white gummy. Hell yeah. Um, oh. So gummies increase your IQ, and the white gummy specifically is good for normal type Pokemon. Your IQ? Yeah, IQ, you unlock uh, new skills the more IQ you have. Mm. Oh. And if you give so, a Pokemon a gummy that fits their type, they'll get even more IQ. Normal type Pokemon like it best. Hell yeah. Okay, You'll also so get an increased IQ yield, although not a great one, if you eat a gummy that your Pokemon type is strong against or weak okay. to. I can't remember which one it is. Okay. Um, so white gummy is the best one for us then? For Meowth, yes. Okay, should I just eat it now? Yeah, if you want to. Hell yeah, I should be better about always making sure I don't hold an item then, just for... Oh, learned the IQ skill. Pee, pee checker, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Am I male? Yes. Please, this is a family-friendly show. <laughs> uh, I think it's mostly just for AI use. Well, stop yeah. using linked moves that are on the verge of delinking. What does that mean? So if we were to go to Gulpin's shop, we'd be able to link moves, which basically, if you linked Growl and Scratch together, then you'd use Growl and then Scratch immediately in the same turn. Okay. Um, and with oh. PP Checker... If an AI uses linked moves, then they will stop using them before both moves run out of power points. Oh, I just stepped on an orange berry. I guess it means I have full inventory? Yep. Okay, that's You'll fine. You'll step I... on items that you cannot pick up anymore. Mm, that's fine. Hey, a, a brown gummy. Or an orange gummy. Orange gummy. Orange gummy. I picked that up. Like, you can brown stand Senzu over it bean. and go into your... Uh, real quick. Never mind. Yoink! Um, <laughs> If you're ever full up on inventory and you just walk on top of something, yeah. you can go into your inventory and hit the swap command on any item, and then you'll oh. just swap whatever's on the ground with whatever you chose to swap. Okay. Oh, rapid spin. There we go. I feel like I, I'm not even as inclined to use the uh, speed up B button thingy, mm -hmm. just because it's already a pretty good speed. I guess I don't really need to conserve power points. You also do have bite now, so you have I do. more attacking moves to work with. Yeah. yeah. Come on, where are the stairs? I got a few easy ones. There we go. They wake up if you're next to them? Yeah, whenever you're within one square of them. Oh, this is one of the floors. A destination floor. What am I looking for in this one? A person? Uh, looks like the person you're looking for is actually at the top of this room. Yeah, it and does. I recommend moving cool. diagonally downwards. I agree. Yeah, yeah. We, we gotta get Bulbasaur in there. There we go. There we go. Nice, getting some good experience. Perfect. Okay, they're right up here. There we go. Hey, I like that kid. kid. Stop. There we go. Oh, that was quick. No, I do not like the default is yes on that. Oof. Okay, I think this is another destination floor. Yes. Okay. Where am I going? What am I doing? Ooh. We all know you wouldn't have used Vine Whip anyway. What True. do I hold again to throw things? L and R together. L and if it's not R working... Hey! Oh, there, there we go. Ooh. Can I throw from there? Damn it. Yeah, Gravel Rock reaches pretty far. Um, like, you can. Something can even be kind of off screen, and you could probably still hit it with a Gravel Rock. Wow. Oh, I picked up a lone Gravel Rock, and I bet you that's going to be its own stack now. 
No, it isn't. It actually stacks on top of it if oh, you pick God. it up in the dungeon. Good. Ooh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna... It'll go fine. <gasps> level 12! I love that the Pokemon acknowledge that they know what level ups are. Mm hmm So speed's just flat out not a mechanic? Uh, there is something that allows you to take more turns in a turn, and that's, like, agility and stuff. Right, and, you did um, tell me about that, yeah. Yeah, and in that case, agility is, like, one of the best speed moves in the entire game. Because you actually buff your entire party's travel speed by two stages. Which is pretty oh. nuts. Anything to get mm -hmm. more actions is pretty strong. There are uh, priority moves in this game, kinda. Like, they are moves that used to have priority, but now they actually just hit multiple tiles away. So they are still useful. Oh. Man, Vine Whip hits real hard. Man, it Warful. was right near the start. <sighs> Well, I don't even know how Wurmple got this far in. It's a strong Wurmple. Guess so. All right, we're almost done here. Ooh, another a gummy. bean. Also, you picked <gasps> up a gravel rock three. Yeah, I want the bean. White gummy, hell yeah. I'll just swap. There you I go. I did it. And then eat that I, bean. where'd it go? Right. It's, uh, go to the right Here. twice. Oh, I, I was gonna say for your gravel or rock, but yeah, white gummy. There you, you go. Efficiency can't expert. Make me. Hey, what's efficiency expert? I think it means when it's controlled by an AI, it'll stop using moves that are low on power points and will prioritize other ones. I could be wrong. Man, I wish I could just drop straight from the held menu. That'd be nice. Yeah. You're not gonna check your PP? You not your PP. <laughs> you can yep, check. Yep, still that, mail. Though. Yep. You have a PP checker. I I uh, do have the ability to check that. The game made sure I knew. You gotta check your 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 thing. What thing? Your IQ ability. Your IQ. Oh, why do I need to check one. my IQ? Since when do you I have a, IQ? A new one. You got a new one. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what every menu is under and. Efficiency uh, expert. Yeah. What is this? Battling several okay, that's foes, the, the Pokemon will first target the one with the lowest health. Oh, that's kind of cool. Great. That'd be great when Bulbasaur knows it. Yeah, yes. it, it will be great when anybody but my current Pokemon <laughs> knows it. I go. think the two gummies that Bulbasaur would get a lot of perks from would be the Grass Gummy and the Purple Gummy. Um, but he'll also get a good bit of stuff from stuff like Green Gummies and... Uh, Brown gummies? Okay. Oh, it's Tyro that wanted you to save him. Rescue points. Hey, can you save my dumb friend? Went into a cave. <laughs> <laughs> Max yeah. Elixir. Okay, storage is fine. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's a hundred bucks. The max elixirs are cool. I get the feeling they're not as rare as I was thinking they would be. No, yeah, they they are not that rare. Okay. Didn't we do good today? <laughs> we saved a wormhole. <laughs> it was really important that we saved that wormhole. He was sad and lonely. Hey, Actually, he's no, the sad and lonely ones elsewhere. Yes, sad and lonely still out there. Yeah. We'll save him one day. That wormhole is gonna evolve into a cascoon. What, the sad and lonely one? Was it a wormhole? No. no, no, the one that you saved. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. Do we have a plot occurring? Oh! <gasps> oh, no, this sounds like a villainous team and looks what like a, a villainous team. What a gangster Ekans. Because they're purple and purple is evil because this is a video game. Two of them are purple. Okay, well, look. <laughs> They're mostly they could purple. Have, they could have found a third purple Pokemon, okay? <laughs> Metacham was the best they had. They didn't coordinate their outfit very well, but what are you gonna do? On the next episode, everybody, we get bit by a snake and die. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Man, that was a short Let's Play. <laughs>